Hello and welcome to Kind Farms. Today we're gonna to be taking a tour around the garden. Let's go. Last time we took you guys on a tour, I think it was in May. So we have been slacking just a little bit on the uh, garden tours and just videos in general. It has been busy around here. There's been a lot going on, um, but it's kind of the end of the season. It's September now. So you kind of got to see the beginning and the end. And hopefully next year we'll do a better job of sharing kind of the in-between here on YouTube. But if you want to see more of what it looked like in the in-between, you can go out there and like Kind Farms uh, Facebook page. We post pictures and we try to post something every day. So you can kind of go back and look and see how things progress throughout, throughout the year and our harvest. Today, we're just gonna take you around and show you what has happened in the garden. All right, so here's a look at the garden as it is today. Um, we have here, um, we had peas at this originally, probably when you saw it in May. Um, now we have a cantaloupe, which I don't think will produce. It just, oh, well maybe it will. Looky there, I'm always finding surprises. I don't know if we have enough time for this guy to make it, but we'll see if he can uh, come along and we might get a cantaloupe off this guy. Um, I don't think any any of the other ones will have enough time. But we planted a um, fall crop here of our purple potted pole beans. A lot of people seem to like those when we take them to farmer's markets. I think they're beautiful. I've got some to harvest right here. So um, as our other beans are dying throughout the garden, these are just getting producing. So we'll get a few harvests out of that before it gets too cold. Over here we have another um, cantaloupe that I don't think will produce, but we also have um, our fall um, cucumber plants. I planted these a little bit later. These are a slicer cucumber. All of our other cucumbers were um, of the pickling variety. So you can see we've got some coming on now. Looks like these didn't get fully pollinated. That's why they're kind of not as rounded here. They still taste yummy though. Hopefully we've got several more flowers on there. Hopefully we can get some cucumbers out before the frost and things get cold around here. We have several more weeks. Here I planted um, something new to try. I planted some lima beans. So I haven't gotten any harvest off of these just yet. Um, I've seen lots of flowers. Um, just kind of waiting for the pods to come on and hopefully we can get some lima beans. I planted this whole bed with lima beans here. Um, but only three plants came up. Um, didn't have a very good germination rate on those. Here I planted um, some summer squash and zucchini that I was hoping to um, get a fall harvest from. However, they have all been overcome by the squash beetles. Um, in the fall, I was busy with a lot of harvesting um, and didn't have as much time to dedicate to pest control, something I wanna work on next year and implement a few different uh, pest control methods. So. These grew and they were beautiful and just in the last week or so they have totally been taken over by the squash bugs. Um, you can see there's a whole bunch of them there on that leaf and you can see uh, one of the bigger guys over here and there's a little guy. So I'll probably be pulling that out. I've already pulled two plants out there. <clears throat> Moving along over here I planted um, a whole bunch of um, kidney beans here, red kidney beans, only two plants came up. Again, having some trouble with germination. Um, for those, you let them dry out. I've already picked some. Um, these are just red kidney beans. Um, something's been munching on those the last few days. That one was full and bushy and it's been eaten up. So it's not doing too hot. I also planted a bunch of black Spanish radish in here once I saw the beans weren't coming up and it didn't do as well either. I've only gotten, um, I think these are it, these two little radishes here coming up and we have some parsley from earlier in the season. This bed has really struggled all year. It had a layer of mulch that we put in at the end of last year, um, just from some leftover mulch that we had from some other projects. And I think the mulch really has affected the nutrition level of the soil. So we're gonna be refilling a lot of these beds this fall um, for next year and amending them and getting them ready so that we don't run into those issues again. Okay, here we have our thyme that we love always drying time. Um, you can buy dr dried time from us or fresh time at the farmers markets that we attend. Um, 
and then we've got some weeds lovely weeds there and then this is our strawberry bed this bed is extremely overgrown so what our plan is with this strawberry bed is I'm gonna let it overwinter and just stay out here and then when it starts perking up in the spring I plan to dig it all up and I'm gonna separate all of the plants that I can and divide them up and we're gonna be selling a ton of strawberry plants next year also um, I'm gonna be thinning this out and actually focusing it down to just a few plants um, but we'll be eliminating this overgrown strawberry bed here and then over here we have some Brussels sprouts that I planted um, these ones have kind of gotten eaten up a little I have some more over here that I've got in this fancy little thing that are doing well so these hopefully will grow and we'll get some Brussels sprouts off of those um, these here are my tomatoes that were my clone tomatoes off of my um, prunings from my other plants um, I didn't quite have enough steaks so they're kind of all over the place but you can see they have a, a lot of um, big fruit on them we'll be able to get some uh, tomatoes from those also got a sunflower here um, full of seeds Let's see if I can hop around and show you guys. So this sunflower here is full of seeds. Um, I'll be cutting that head off and drying it out here soon. All right, moving on down in the garden, we've got some jalapeno plants here. So all of these pepper plants that you see here are jalapenos. Um, I'm planning on, you can see them here, Whole bunch of jalapenos that need to be harvested. I'm hoping to overwinter these jalapeno plants so I'm going to dig them up and trim them down um, real good and see if I can keep them through the winter and replant them next year just to get a head start on our pepper plants. That's the plan. All right and here um, we had onions originally probably when you guys last saw this space. Right now it has some um, watermelon, some cantaloupe, you can see a cantaloupe there growing. Um, also a couple other clones, tomato plants that didn't really do a whole lot. They've got a few flowers, you might get a couple things from them. Um, this probably will be coming out soon. We'll let the um, cantaloupe finish here. Had some trouble with our watermelon this year. Um, I harvested several and followed all the signs for them to be ready and they weren't quite ready. So I didn't have much luck with watermelon this year. Um, we may try again next year, might try some different varieties, we'll see. And this here, this growing vine, is um, sweet potatoes. So these will just pretty much let grow until um, probably the first frost comes. You can see we have blooms. They say after it all blooms is when you can dig it up. We also got a little friend, a little grasshopper there. Um, so I love the sweet potato vines. I think they're pretty. Um, these were just kind of let doing their thing. Um, and we'll be digging those up here shortly. Hopefully we'll have lots of sweet potatoes in there. Here we've got some more of our clone plants. Again, um, trellising was slacking a little bit, but you can see we've gotten several. Um, this is the large fruited uh, cherry tomatoes. We've got several of those and we've got some sweeties back there. We've been able to harvest quite a bit off of those. And then these were marigolds that were growing here in our path from last year that we transplanted and they're huge, blooming really big doing well again this had onions in it probably last time you guys saw all of this here was all full of onions um, we've also got here I forgot to mention some sage two plants of sage hopefully these should come back next year um, these were planted from seed and they're already uh, pretty massive I'm I'm stoked for how well those are doing um, be harvesting some of that soon um, we've got some of our zinnias here. Um, they've kind of had a little bit of disease going on with them, but we've gotten several pretty blossoms off of those. I took a bunch in last night. Got some pretty blossom. The butterflies love them. Um, we've got another tomato plant here that just decided to come up in the path, so I let it grow. I don't know where it came from, so letting it do its thing. Gotten a few little um, cherry tomatoes off of that. Um, we've got some nasturtium growing here. We've got uh, hollyhocks in here. Those will take two years to get established. I may be moving those. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them there or not. But they're getting big. And our wisteria is still growing. 
keep wandering down the path. We've got another big mammoth sunflower here. You guys see that? Um, that one is uh, still growing. It looks like, oh, I still got a walking stick on there. If you guys follow us on Facebook. Oh, and he's eating a critter. Let's see if we can zoom in so you guys can see that. Can you guys see him? Oh, he's moving around, but a walking stick just got him a, a bug. He's been hanging out up there on that sunflower for a while now. That's pretty cool. Or not a walking stick, sorry. Not a walking stick, praying mantis. It's a praying mantis. I apologize. Praying mantis there. So that sunflower's got a little bit farther to go before it is ready to uh, hang and dry. All right, looking down our path here, this here is all different tomatoes. A lot of these were tomatoes that I had intended on selling, um, and they were extras or clones or different things like that. So we have a lot of um, tomatoes coming in. These were planted a little bit later, so we're getting a second round of um, big juicy tomatoes. I just picked a whole bunch of huge ones last night. See this big green one here growing. Lots of fruit still to come on those. And then we've also got um, lots of the little cherry tomatoes. So this is the large fruited cherry and this is the little sweetie cherry tomatoes. Lots of them growing. Now next year one thing I will be doing with this trellis if I keep it here um, I'll be raising it up so um, we have more growth space and um, we don't need as much of the trellis at the bottom of the tomato plant as we do at the top so I'll be raising it up at least a foot or two. This here used to have some collard greens and greens, um, a little bit of onions in this and I pulled them all out and I planted this whole bed full of carrots. Um, tons of carrot seeds in here. But I only got germination from about two of them. I have no idea what happened there. I have no idea what happened there, why they didn't germinate, but I was hoping to have some fall carrots. Um, but it doesn't look like we'll be getting much happening there. Um, but that's okay, we'll just, um, that's okay, we'll just um, do something else or um, maybe plant some garlic here or something here soon. Here are some more of those tomato plants that were just clones, again. Um, having some, uh, they're getting overgrown and crazy. I'll have to come in here and probably uh, do some work on them here soon. They're coming in and squishing our banana pepper plants. So these are our banana peppers. We've got lots to harvest on those. Those have been producing a lot. Again, I'm gonna try to overwinter some of these as well. We also had this ink Inta, Ita, you guys know I don't know how to say this name, but this is an orange bell pepper. Um, I've had a few peppers come off of this. You see there's more on there. We are struggling a little bit. They seem to be um, going bad on the vine before they turn orange. They're getting soft spots. So um, I'm having to pick them a little earlier than when they turn orange. Um, not sure what is causing that, but we're still getting quite a few peppers from it. Um, here I planted some cabbage. It doesn't seem to be doing too well. I don't know if it's still too hot. I was hoping to have some cabbage for the winter, fall. Um, I've got a few plants in there that are kind of hanging on, but most of them, I haven't seen much come from them. And then we've got a few uh, sunflowers here that are about ready to harvest. And our asparagus has already uh, started to go to seed. Some more tomatoes. Um, let's see, moving on down. Down here I planted um, a whole bunch more of those kidney beans. And again, I only had three plants that came up. Um, so I planted this whole bed full, but only three plants came up. So I went ahead and threw in, I think, some spinach here. So I begin to see a few little spinach seeds popped up. I just threw them in to have something in here um, that will be yummy. And then here we have um, the last remnants of some of our pickle, pickle cucumbers. This vine is about done and need to pull it down. We do have a couple cucumbers over here on the vine that we can still enjoy. Um, but this vine is about done. 
in its place. You can see down here. Uh, these are peas, so those will be climbing up the trellis. Those will be climbing up the trellis next to kind of take the place and kind of get a fall harvest of peas. We also had a volunteer from last year. This is where we had our noodle beans last year. So we had uh, one noodle bean plant come up here. And then here in this bed, um, this originally had carrots. We harvested all the carrots. Um, I came in and tried to put some collard greens here. They were coming up and then they just disappeared. So I don't know if a critter got them or what, but um, those probably aren't going to happen. And then I planted some lettuce, a lettuce mixture here. Um, we've got some of it coming up. Fall plantings don't seem to be doing as well as, you know, our spring and summer. And that's something I've always struggled with. My fall plantings don't seem to germinate as well and come out um, as well. Um, I'm not sure what causes that. I don't know if it's temperature or uh, soil amending or what it is, but that's something I need to learn and grow in. All right, now let's go down the next aisle. <laughs> so much garden to share with you guys. It's so fun. All right, here we've got um, some tomatoes, some sunflowers. This is kind of our mixed bed of tomatoes with all the leftovers. Um, again, all these leftover tomatoes didn't really have uh, steaks. We've got to use what we had. And uh, this here, this trellis, this big uh, arch trellis was beautiful. We have to go back and look at pictures on our Facebook page. It was full of uh, pie pumpkins. Um, we've harvested most of them, but we do have one more that's still growing. Probably be a smaller pie pumpkin, and then that's going to be done. It's pretty much done already. Um, and we have some peas here coming in to kind of fill in, and also some carrots that did make it, and some more peas on that side. And then we have um, some sweet potatoes. We had a few extra um, sweet potato slips. So we just went ahead and put those in there. And they are starting to climb up the trellis as well. So that will be kind of nice and pretty. And here's our okra. <coughs> if you watched our okra picking harvesting video, you've seen these. Um, this is kind of a mixture of different types of okra. I went in and planted some um, mixed uh, lettuce greens here hopefully to get a little harvest of salad underneath this okra there was a bunch of space there and it was nice and shaded um, some of it's doing well some of it not as good we'll see what comes out of that um, here we have another mixture or I think these are the Rudiger tomatoes here basil we've been eating a ton of basil drying basil um, we have dried basil for sale fresh basil for sale um, these basil plants have been phenomenal but we've got several tomato plants still producing. Um, still got green tomatoes on the vine. Some starting to blush. Our nasturtiums um, are about done. They're kind of done for the season. And then over here, we've got our big old trellis of lupa gourds. This has been super fun to grow, super pretty. It has these yellow flowers that have been on it almost all year. Um, and then these huge lupa gourds. You can see these hanging here. Big ol' I think this one looks like a, I don't know, this like an old lady's elbow or knee or something. I think it's funny looking. It's got that knot on it. I like it. It's super fun. <coughs> I'll take you on in here. All right, so here we are. We have a ton of lupas growing. I don't know if you guys can see all the different lupas growing in here. So there they are. They're supposed to, what I've heard, turn yellow and then turn brown. Um, I'm not so sure. This one is more like rotting rather than drying out. I don't know if that's something gone wrong or if that's what it's supposed to do. I'm not sure. But we will see how the rest of them turn out. Got lots of them growing. So many. I can't even keep track. There's so many in here. And then if we come on out of our uh, lupa gourds, um, right here beside it are uh, sweet potatoes. We got all sorts of sweet potatoes growing here. Yeah, so we have sweet potatoes growing on this trellis. I can't remember what was here before the sweet potatoes. Uh, it was something I thought, or maybe not, maybe this one was empty. I can't remember now, but um, got all these sweet potatoes growing, another harvest of sweet potatoes. Um, more tomatoes. Um, some of these are purple Cherokee tomatoes here. Um, and then we've got our big okra, tall okra that is just getting huge. 
it's growing into our paths. Can't even get through. But I'm gonna try to go through the jungle. We will go through the jungle together. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, right now we're under our purple potted uh, green beans. Um, purple potted pole beans. Let me turn around and look. This is about done. I don't see, there's a few blossoms, um, a few blossoms of some new uh, green beans that might come on, but we have some that are on now. Right now at this point, I think I'm gonna let a lot of these just um, produce seeds. So we have seeds for next year. Um, we're starting to get kind of eaten up with bugs. So a lot of these we'll just let um, turn to seed. We might pick a few tender ones if we see them, but uh, for the most part, I only see a few flowers. This probably is about done for the year as well. <clears throat> We've got more hollyhocks. We've got um, more big sunflowers. This sunflower was huge. It was several feet before it started bowing over the archway here, or the um, pergola here. Pergo pergola, however you say it. We have not gotten a lot farther on our pergola project um, things just got away from us we got it painted we've got lights put on it um, we've still got to get the mulch and the furniture and all the accessories here at a project still to be done all right now coming over to this part of the garden a lot of this has kind of uh, piddled out it was the first that we put out um, this is another purple potted pole bean um, that I'm letting go to seed. So there are no flowers on this one. It's completely um, going to seed. We're going to collect all those seeds for next year. You can see most of these are getting big and bulky. I'm just going to let them produce the seeds. Oh, look, we have one blossom. Might get a, a one more green bean. We'll see. But um, this will be, uh, once those beans kind of dry out, this will be coming down. Um, we'll be pulling all the vines off. Got another hollyhocks. Had a sunflower there we harvested here this used to be green beans we planted two boxes of bush green beans um, those were are some of my uh, favorite I love green beans and some of the things that my family loves to eat and loves to grow um, but they didn't do too well this year um, they just didn't produce kind of the bean style that we wanted um, so I pulled a lot of those out and um, we planted some fall crops in there. I'm gonna try out some different varieties next year and see if we can find a bush bean or a pole bean that we really, really just thoroughly enjoy. So I went ahead and planted some spinach here. I haven't seen any of it come up yet. I uh, planted that last week. Hopefully it should be coming up here soon. Here in this bed, we had a bunch of zucchini and squash. Um, all of that, you know, we've got several squashes from it, but it was done, got overcome with um, pest. And so now we have a mixture of um, radishes that are coming in here for the fall. We just kind of sprinkled out some of the seeds we saved from the spring. Um, just kind of threw them in here and you can see there's all sorts of radishes sprouting all over. And then these here are our Black Prince tomato. You guys probably saw me talk about those. Um, these are the Black Prince. These are the ones that I actually bought from the store. The only one I didn't grow from seed. And they are not my favorite. They are um, kind of a different color, which I don't mind the color so much, but um, they just were just okay. There wasn't anything real special about them. Um, probably not a variety that I'll be growing again. They didn't get very big and full like some of the other tomato plants. Um, so that's probably something I won't be doing again here soon. Maybe another time I'll try it out. Um, but those did okay this year. And then here's another one of our big basil bushes. We're just loving all of the basil. Need to come in here and do some more uh, pruning of that. And then backing up, you see all of our okra. Lots and lots of okra here growing. And then we have noodle beans. The noodle beans have been doing really good this year, um, better than previous years. We've got lots of beans to still be harvested. It's still producing, as you can see. Um, and we've got a few that we're letting go to seed, so we'll have some seeds for next year. You see this huge one here is probably about ready to pull some seeds out any day now. Um, and then we've got some that we can go ahead and eat. Then here we did have some of those um, pickling cucumbers, but those are done for the year. We do have some peas coming in here that we are hoping to 
get a little fall winter pea harvest from we'll see how those come along all right over here this is my uh trellis i found that someone was throwing away that i showed you guys i think it was empty probably last time you guys saw it but now it is full of cucamelons so these are those little tiny um, mexican sour gherkin cucumbers um, they're a big hit at the farmer's market we're hoping to grow a whole bunch of these maybe next year people seem to really love them um, but we've got several little ones i probably need to go in and harvest all right and then here we have um, these are our amish paste tomatoes another big basil bush need to come in here and do some pruning I'm about to get some flowers on there been pruning them so they're nice and big and bushy um got that big sunflower we saw earlier but here is some of our amish i think this is this is supposed to be all Amish paste. This one kind of grew a different shape than the traditional kind of teardrop shape. But we've got a bunch that probably need to be picked here soon. Um, those have been doing well. They're kind of crazy now because they're at the end of uh, end of the season. Some marigolds. We have a, another um, pepper plant over here, like that orange bell peppery one that is doing well we had some squashes in here that are done for the season um, i came back and planted some turnip greens here um, they're kind of getting eaten up a little bit but maybe we can get a little harvest of some greens there and then over here a lot of this has been cleared out that was this was more of those bush beans and i had some zinnias here and some squash and they all just kind of were done for the year so instead we have um, I planted peas on this trellis, but they have gotten eaten up. We've got one little plant hanging on. Um, and then we've got carrots here. More of these carrots came up. And then here is a mixture of turnip greens and mustard greens. And you can see all of those coming up. Hopefully we'll have a nice harvest of some greens for the fall and winter. And then to kind of finish it up, we've got another sunflower head about to be harvested. This was where our pickling cucumbers were. They're all done, pulled out for the year more peas another big basil bush we kind of spread basil throughout the garden um, again squash was here it's done um, got a couple carrots that came up um, these are our beefsteak tomatoes um, they're down to just kind of a smaller size now but we had some big here's one big green one about to turn big beefsteaks that came off of there and that is the garden get you guys scope see things all right thank you guys so much for joining me on this tour of our garden um, we hope to have uh, more videos coming out be sure and check our other videos and we will see you guys next time bye